everyone, welcome to today's video. If you are familiar with my channel, you will realize that you've not seen this space before and that's because we are not at the farmhouse right now. We This house right here is a really cute 1950s Cape Cod style house. It's super, super tiny. It's an investment property that my boyfriend, husband, partner, guy, been together for 13 years, I don't know what to call him. And I purchased a few years ago and we've had tenants in here and I haven't really had the chance to be in here and film or do anything. So I thought it would be fun for you guys to come along and see an aesthetic, a design style that's completely different than what I do over at the farmhouse. We were originally airbnb it in the outset, but the town that the house is in decided to nix Airbnb. So while the town was figuring out their legislation, we decided to put some tenants in here. The tenants just recently moved out, so we are cleaning it, kind of getting it all rearranged back to how it originally was, and we're gonna be putting it back on Airbnb. Today we're gonna be starting in the kitchen because the kitchen is the most fun and the most important part, and it's always what I like to see. Let's rewind a couple days and I'm gonna show you everything. So this kitchen was left pretty gross. So I'm going through and just rewashing all of the dishes. I mean, look at these wine glasses. They, I don't think they were used for the two years that the tenants were here. So I am just rewashing everything. Then I'm gonna fill in the cracks in the beadboard and then give this cabinet a fresh coat of white paint because it needs it. These bottom cabinets are in rough shape. They need a deep clean. I'm gonna caulk around the cracks and give this a fresh coat of paint as well. Our poles are, they are made out of carved wood. I gotta clean all this, clean all this up. I would love to like kind of strip all the paint off of here and have the wood shine through. That is a bigger project than I have time for because I'm trying to turn this house around pretty quickly. So we're just gonna clean it and give it another coat of paint and maybe that can be a project for later on. The blinds that I had hanging in here were super disgusting. Let me show you a really easy way on how to clean blinds. Fill your tub with some hot soapy water, let them sit in there, then we can open them up, give them a light scrub down, and once they are done, just hang them up to dry and they look brand new. I am just doing a fresh coat of paint on this little section of the kitchen because there are a lot of scuffs and dings, and I'm just gonna do one coat on this entire section. Now this, it's pretty light when it's wet, but it does turn quite a bit darker when it dries, but I love this color. It is from Benjamin Moore called Dark Harbor. And I did made a video on how you can dupe up this paint in the Home Depot Bear line if you want to save a little bit of money. If you're looking for a budget option, I will link that video down below if you want to watch that. But I love this color. I think it's just so stunning. All right, let me show you guys how to clean an electric stove if you have a stove like this. It is super duper easy. So all of these elements just kind of plug in and the kind of drip bowl comes out with it as well. So just lift it up and pull it right on out of there. That way you can wash the element and then you can wash the bowl as well. This way you can get underneath where the bowl sits and you can get all of that grime out of there. And then you can clean underneath it. All you have to do is just pull this up. There's gonna be two little arms. Pull it up until it latches and then you can clean under here as well. All right, so see this little like kind of hinge right here? There's one on either side. Once you're done cleaning, you just push these in and then the top will go down and then you just kind of click it down into place. And then see this little part right here? That's where your element plugs back into. So these little prongs are gonna plug right into here. There you go. 
When designing this house, I just wanted it to be fun, like quirky, weird, eclectic, a little nod to mid-century, and everything in this house is either from the thrift store, from Facebook Marketplace, or from the gifts of the streets of New York City. So let's get into this. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you everything because I'm excited and I love it. The kitchen is just about done. When we first bought the house, these cabinets were red. I decided to paint them white and somewhere between offer and close, one of the cabinet doors went missing. So I just decided to take the other one that was still left here off and do an open concept style cabinet. And I love it. You get to see my cute little bowls and colanders and stuff. And I think this definitely works for this kitchen space. Since cabinet and drawer space is a little bit limited, I decided to add some wine boxes over here on the wall. Now you can get wine boxes for free from any restaurant. You can typically find them on the street on recycle night. This is a unique way to provide more storage and put your items on a little display. If you have a smaller kitchen and you are limited on prep space, look for something like this. This can come out and the back flips up and it gives you a nice area for some more prep space. And these are also some stools, like hanging stools in here that can come out and you can sit around it. This table is also the same concept. The back part flips up and you could see a good four people around this table. If you need even more storage, this is a medicine cabinet that I got at Habitat and I just use it as kind of like a spice rack spice cabinet type of ordeal. I love this thing. I think I snagged it for about 10 bucks. If you're doing more of an eclectic design, pieces are going to find you. I picked this up at the thrift store for a couple dollars. I found the Miles Davis poster in the city on the street. Animals very quickly decided to become a part of the vibe of this house. Started moving into like a more of a nomad style design with things that you would bring back from your travels or things where from places where you wish you could travel to. So that was kind of a through line through this as well. You got this vintage toaster off of Amazon and it's always nice to have a fun little mix of cookbooks, especially some that kind of date to the era that you are trying to create in your home. One of my favorite details in this kitchen is this stained glass little window. I love it. Behind it, there is a kind of a fluorescent bulb that you can turn on. I have to figure out how to rewire this, but I think that is just so cute and I it's perfect for this kitchen. Keep your eyes out at yard sales. I got three of these from a lady at a yard sale for a dollar. Yard sales, y'all, keep your eyes out. Well, I hope you guys like this tiny little kitchen as much as I do. If you do, comment below and say hi to the queenie weenie. All right, I will see you guys on the next one. Mwah.